Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks tutorial. Now in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the new map to screen function with the new lure blocks here in Stormworks. As always, we'll go over the components needed, we'll go over to show you how to write the script itself, what functions you can do, and then also two different ways how you control it. Now we'll also be building up the example, a step-by-step -step tutorial as always. Now if you're enjoying this video, comment below and let me know if you'd like to see any of my future videos. While you're there, don't forget to that like and subscribe button and remember to click the little bell icon to be notified in my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said. Let's get straight into it and get started with the tutorial. So to get started, we're back here in the workbench. Now, the first thing, as you can see in front of me, I've just got a little bit of a base set up already. With that, also got two of the screens down. Now, these are three by five screens, just two of them down. Nothing is connected up. I haven't wired anything up, literally just placed the two screens down. Along with that, I've also just placed a couple empty blocks on either side. This is where we're going to be putting our controls for either of the screens. Now, along with that, we also have two batteries. Because we're here in advanced mode, we obviously need power these with electric now the first thing we're going to do is just have a normal screen on the left hand side here now this screen once we've set it up all it's going to do is actually going to just track the player's position and it's going to focus on that we'll also be able to zoom it of course however with the second screen i'm going to be showing you guys how to actually position it onto a certain point where you want to say for example you want to do enter in a specific coordinates and you want the map to focus on that and you want to be able to zoom in and out i'm going to show you how to do that also now before we move any further the components we're going to need for this first screen is going to be some way to zoom in and out now it's up to you on how you want to zoom in for this purpose of this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be using a simple keypad. Now that keypad, we can obviously enter in what we want to zoom in from. So I'm just, can you see here, I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and place down just a simple keypad just on the side here. Along with that, I'm also going to go and get a toggle button. This toggle button is going to allow us to turn the screen on and also turn the screen off. Now, because we're not actually entering in the coordinates where we want this map to display from, we will obviously need to enter in some other coordinates and that's what we're going to be doing by using a GPS sensor just on the side here and that's what's going to actually going to feed into the map and tell us where we are and where the map needs to focus onto. Along with that is moving on to the second one, we're also going to need some way to zoom in and out. So for the purpose of this video, once again, I'm just going to use a keypad. We will also need some way of turning this on. So I'm also just going to put a on off switch here. And then we also, because we, this time we want to focus on our own Pacific coordinates, I'm going to be using a large keypad just over here. And this is where we're going to be entering in our coordinates where we want to focus it on. Along with that, we actually don't need anything else. So we can just go and make it a little bit more tidier on the side here and neaten it up. Now, before we move anywhere further, obviously you need to connect your electricity and we would need to connect these controls into our microprocessor we're going to control and it's going to go out onto these screens. So we can actually now start building the microprocessor before we carry on. So we're going to go into the microprocessor editor here. I'm going to call it um, map to screen because that's what we're going to be doing. We're doing in this tutorial here. So map to screen uh, description. I don't want to put anything. Um, I don't think we're going to need much more than what we have there. Uh, I'm just going to make it one larger just in case. Along with that is you can draw whatever you want on actual uh, symbol here. I'm just going to do like a kind of like a map thing. I, I'm not too sure. doesn't really look that great, but that's fine for this purpose of this video. Now, the first thing we want is obviously add some of our logic on here. Now we go to need a video art of course because that's going to be going to the map itself uh, we also need for our first microprocessor uh, we actually we can use it for both uh, we're going to need an x and y input obviously for the first one it's going to be the gps sensor for the second one it's going to be um, our keypad so we're just going to go put here number input perfect and we're going to call this y and then we also need a on off um, actually no we don't need an on off on off is going to go straight into the screen so we don't need that at all uh, we do need a zoom however so so we will go grab a number and we're going to call this our zoom okay perfect so we got those just obviously play around with it and make sure it's all nice and it all fits on that side uh we can actually make it a little bit shorter here so it's a four by a two by two block uh the next thing we need to do is go into our logic 
So you can see here we have our numbers coming in. Uh, so there's three of those numbers coming into the block right here. We also have our output, which is our video output. And then we can actually go and grab our Lua script here. Now, placing the Lua script down, you can see obviously we have a composite in, a composite out. We also have a video in and a video out. Now we won't need a video in because obviously nothing is coming in. We're just drawing the map on this block and we're sending it out. However, we will need to connect the out onto our video out, which I just went and did already. Now we need to obviously convert these three numbers into the composite. To do that, what we want to do is you can see here, we have different types of the read and writes. I'm gonna go and grab the write, which is number right, and we just need three of those. So I'm gonna go channel count three, and I'm gonna say, okay, zoom is one, okay, cool. X is going to be two and Y is going to be three. Okay, so we know what that is already. That's then gonna come from there, go into the Lua block, get converted into video, and then go out there. Okay, pretty straightforward so far. Okay, the next thing we need to do is actually click on the Lua block and click on the edit script. Now, when you get presented to the screen, you can see the devs have gone and put an example here for us already. We're gonna leave that for now. We're gonna go jump over to the help text. Now in the help text, you can see there's a whole bunch of different things. There's an example sample script here. Along with that, it shows you how to use the composite in and the composite out. It shows you how to use properties, shows you how to draw things on the screen, shows you how to use the map, the touch screen, and then also shows you what functionals are available and also what the meter is, okay? And this is just a quick uh, brief from the devs themselves. Now, as I said, we're going to be very basic in this tutorial and I'm only gonna be showing you how to get the map onto the screen and how to control it two different ways. We will do another video in the future and I'll get into more detail on this and actually show you guys how to start writing text to the screen and start how, to start how to use your numbers, like your engine things and start displaying those on screen. And that will probably be in the next video that I'm going to be doing. Hi, for now, let's just keep it to a simple map, okay, guys? So, the first thing, if we come down here, you can see that we can see that it says draw the world map centered on the map coordinates X and Y with a zoom level ranging from 0 0.1 to 50. Cool, so we're going to grab that, okay? Along with that, also says set the colors used for rendering the map. Values range from 0 to 255, alpha is optional. So we can actually go and set our own specific colors of the map if we want to. We are not going to do that, okay? We're just going to leave the standard ones. We do not need this. Along with that, you can also get the screen height and width if you want to. Once again, I'll show you guys this in the next video. We will not need it for this tutorial, okay? But I will show you in the next video how to do that and why that is important. So let's go over to our script. Now, we know obviously that we don't need any of this stuff that the guys have here so we can go and delete that this is our on tick function so when a tick happens this is what it sends out and then this is going to be when we on draw now we're going to leave this over here okay we can leave we can either leave this or we can take it off i'm just going to go and write over here so you can see we have our screen draw map x and y okay we obviously need some way of getting our numbers in we need the x we need the y and we need the zoom so we can come here and we can have a look here and it says, well, okay, script basics. Something equals input get number one, okay? So that's fine. We just need to change that number from one, two, and three because we're getting number one, two, and three from our composite, okay? Easy enough. So we're gonna come over to this side here and we're gonna say, okay, well, our zoom equals input dot get number and one okay and i probably spelled that wrong yes we need a capital okay n please make sure guys you use capitals here and i think we also need to get rid of a space there can you see there now once it's gone blue it's now registered that it's worked you can also come in here and actually just copy this if you really want to um so we can just literally just come into here press enter and copy it across and then we could rename this to to x and we could get another one in there and rename that to Y. I recommend copying, it's much easier and you make sure it's always right. So just make sure to change the number there. And you also have the option there, obviously you can see what line you're on, what characters you have, how many you have left, and you can also run a check error to see if there's any errors. Currently it doesn't detect an error. If it was um, and we ran it, it would put a blue screen up on the display, but that's fine now. So you can see we're getting our zoom in from composite one, we're getting our X in from composite one, and we're getting our Y in from composite three. Okay, so we're getting our three numbers in. Along with that, we're now also drawing 
so don't worry about that we don't really need it right now it's just there as an extra but we screen draw map and we say okay x equals x that's fine y is equal y and zoom is equal to zoom this should all work this is very basic guys but everything should be working perfectly right here right now let's go ahead and press done i'm also while we're here i'm going to go ahead and click save and i'm going to save it save it as my screen to map okay perfect go and spawn it in exit there go back here let's go find our screen to map down in our composite area somewhere okay so there we have the screen to map so what we need to do now is go and place it on here i'm going to place it underneath here so it looks at somewhat half decent now we only actually start getting everything connected up i'm going to get the electricity connected up and we're going to do one battery for the left and then one battery for the right hand side as if it was two separate pieces along with that is we can then connect the video so we can connect the video from the mic processor over to the video uh, display along with that do the other side while we're there composite we don't need to connect any of the composite for now we just need to connect our data so we can see here we have our small keypad that is going to our zoom we got on off which is going to our monitor and we also have the y coordinates which is going to y and our x going to our x going to this side we have our on off which is going to the monitor our zoom which is going to zoom our b which is going to be our y and our x which is going to go to x or sorry the a which is going to go to x okay that's all we have to do as far as controls double check you have everything connected we can then spawn this in for the first time just come over to the left hand side and the first thing we're going to test is we're going to test our one that actually looks at the position we are currently at so you can see here if we turn this on we can currently see where we are now however we're quite well zoomed in um so i'm just going to zoom out a bit let's go even more out okay and now you can see we're currently focusing on where we are in the world itself you could obviously zoom out as much as you want uh, as you can see here we haven't rendered in the rest of the map in so if we zoom out even more that's what we're currently seeing on map and it looks pretty cool uh, obviously you can play with this and go in as far as you want uh, as I said, you can go all the way to 1 or even less 0 0.1 if I'm correct is the closest you can go. Uh, if you want to, I'll show you in the next video how to draw things on the map. So we could draw our coordinates if we want to do on the maps. We could draw arrows and we could also actually draw where we are like a little X. Now moving on to this map, pretty much works the same way. However, instead of getting it from our GPS coordinates, we are getting it from our keypad. So if we turn this on here, you can see nothing is currently here. But if we were to go to, on our map and place a set point here, okay and we came back into here and said okay well we don't care about our zoom but we want to put this in you can see that if we go back to one we now are in the same position as the other one however this one's a little bit more further to the right we can also go and change it so let's say we want to focus on um, this set point down here which is another island you can go and enter the coordinates and, and you can see we've now just quickly jumped over to that side and you can zoom in as much as you want and zoom out as much as you want. Let's go focus on, I think that's uh, one of the shipwrecks. Let's go and just focus on that. Okay, and you can see there is nothing on the screen. Uh, you can focus on a, a whole bunch of things. Let's focus on there um, and see what comes up on the screen. There we go, and we could probably zoom in a little bit more. So 0.1, okay. And you can see we've now right zoomed in into that screen there. So that's pretty much about it. Um, very simple, very basic. As I said, guys, I come definitely come and check out the next video. I will get into a little bit more detail on obviously Lua and how to actually start writing text to the screen itself. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.